The Apple Watch Series 10 is confusing. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful watch. And if you are living under a rock, Apple Watch Series 10 just came out. It was rumored to be a big deal. Legitimately, it came out 10 years to the day of the day Steve, what's his name? Tim Cook announced the first Apple Watch 10 years ago. So this is the big 10 year moment of the Apple Watch. It's a big deal, but at the same time, it's not a big deal at all. So only difference is it is a little bit thinner. That's really the biggest difference. The OLED screen is a bit brighter. You can see it off angle a little bit better and it has some of the features from the Apple Watch Ultra, but worse. I feel like the Apple Watch Series 10 is struggling from what the AirPods Pro have. If you don't know, the AirPods Pro 4 now have a lot of the same features of the AirPods Pro. Adaptive audio, transparency, noise cancellation, and C. And it has all these same features that the Pro has, they're just a little bit worse. Whether that's because there's no seal in them or there's because Apple purposefully made the technology in the fours worse to make them cheaper. That's what it feels like the Apple Watch Series 10 is doing. It now has a depth control, tides and stuff, whatever. Stuff that the Apple Watch Ultra had where you can go diving with it. Now you can go diving with your Apple Watch Series 10, just not as deep. Apparently from what I heard somewhere, diving 10 meters is the most. The Apple Watch Series 10 goes 20 meters. So what's the point of the Ultra? The Ultra has a little bit better GPS and stuff. So I guess if you're a runner, like hiking off the grid, the Ultra is for you. If you're everybody else, the Series 10 is for you. What it really feels like is Apple is dividing their audience, their, their people, their consumers. That's the word. Apple is dividing us. You know, if you're a hiker, runner, or just want a really good battery, get the Ultra. Literally everyone else, get the Series 10. Series 10 still has the exact same battery that the Apple Watch has had for however long we can remember. You know, 18 hours of battery life. That's kind of crap. Now with the sleep apnea feature, Apple encourages you to sleep with the watch on. Most normal people before sleep tracking was a thing is at night when you're not using your phone and your other electronics, you charge it then so that in the morning it's full. Like with an electric vehicle, you plug it in at night. When you wake up in the morning, go drive to work, your car is full of battery. So now Apple's encouraging you to sleep with your Apple Watch. Why on earth are they not upgrading the battery? They're making it thinner. Even though they made the speakers physically smaller, they made them better so that they can play out loud. So Apple is doing some re-engineering in this new thinner body. Why aren't they doing that with the Apple Watch Series 10? Like the Apple Watch Ultra is thicker and that's why it has a thicker battery, a bigger battery but we know Apple can make a bigger battery for the Series 10. It, it just seems like they don't want to. They're more focused on other stuff. And maybe this is a hot take. Slow down on the health features, give us better battery, give us better hardware, and then start doing more health features. Man, I've been waiting for sleep apnea tracking for a while. I've been waiting for like blood glucose level tracking for a while, non-invasive. And I know for a fact Apple's gonna do it. The Apple Watch, can handle that. And that'd be really cool to see. 18 hours of battery. It's just, I prefer Apple, you know, give us, you know, wait five years and perfect the hardware. People are saying on my last AirPods video, which thank you for watching, by the way, people are saying we are at peak AirPods. And if we're at peak AirPods, I'm truly believing that Apple thinks they're at peak watch and they don't know that what more they can do. But I feel like it's obvious that there's a lot more they can be doing to get to peak watch. We're not at peak smartwatch yet. We're getting there. The Ultra was one step closer. The action button is cool, whatever. But now we have the Series 10. It is gorgeous. It comes in titanium and for the same price as the Ultra, sometimes a little bit cheaper depending on the band you get. It's a shiny titanium, which why didn't they put that on the phones? I hate this matte titanium on the, the Pro iPhones. Anyways, we have this on the Series 10, but Apple is just kind of giving us small updates here and there. We need better battery. We need a lot of better things. and. Something they made better, which I really think they shouldn't have made better, it doesn't really matter. Why on earth is it bigger than the Ultra? The Ultra has a bigger body, but physically, but a smaller screen, where the Series 10 has a smaller body, but smaller bezels, I guess, so the screen is one millimeter bigger than the Ultra. Wait, does that mean the Ultra has a 45 millimeter screen? I'm dumb, I'm bad at math. So does the Ultra have a 45 millimeter screen, but the case itself is 49 millimeters? I feel gypped if that's the case, because I had a 45 millimeter watch and I wanted a bigger screen. So I got the Ultra and I feel like the Ultra screen's bigger, but now hearing that the 46 millimeter watch is bigger than the, yeah, I don't know. 
So the Series 10 is now 46 millimeters and like 42 millimeters, and that's pretty cool. Goodbye small watches, I guess. Where are we gonna be 10 years from now? Apple Watch 20, are they still gonna be making Apple Watches every year? Is it gonna be a thing like the Macs and the iPads where they release one every two, three years when they actually have some kind of substantial improvement? Like the new iPad Pros, the improvement hardware wise was pretty substantial with the new thin iPads, the OLED screen, really cool stuff. The tandem OLED was awesome. Is that what we're gonna be with the Apple Watch? I'm curious, what 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 else do you want in the Apple Watch Series 10? For the Apple Watch Series 11, what do you want? Do you think it'll be an incremental upgrade? Do you want it to, do you want Apple to kind of give up on the medical stuff for now, give us better battery, give us better hardware, and then once they've perfected that, then focus on the hardware or focus on the medical. I mean, that's what they did with the AirPods. AirPods Pro 2 are perfect the way they are. Best sound quality for Bluetooth headphones, incredible ANC, transparency mode. Aside from getting the fit just right for most people, which I feel like they could do a little bit more work on, but Apple pretty much got everything else on the Pros perfect to the point where now they're working on the medical stuff, making the Pros actual FDA approved hearing aids and what's next on the Pros. It'll be really cool. So. Why aren't they doing that with the Apple Watch? Why are they diving really deep into medical stuff, but now forgetting about better battery? They're giving us a bigger screen, but now they're also forgetting about their Ultra Watch. This is the Apple Watch Pro Max essentially, and they're forgetting about it. Normally on the iPhone Pro Max, it gets the bigger features even before the iPhone Pro gets it. Apple seems really confused with the Apple Watch Series 10, and thus I am really confused with the Apple Watch Series 10 and the Apple Watch line in general. I'm really curious to see what an Ultra 3 is gonna have. I don't know how much more they can even do. Curious to see what Apple Watch 11 is gonna have because they've also set this precedent of having a new Ultra or app having a new Apple Watch every year. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Jake, this is Shot on my phone.